That's good. That's good. Put you back over to the actual audio. And away we go. I know what I forgot. I turn on my death count. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Just saw it too. Yeah, I want to continue. 
why would I, I say no after just after one? Be like. I guess not. How you doing tonight on this uh, decent night? There's got to be a better way of getting that guy. Oh, you can't hear me very well? Uh, let me see if I can move that. Is this better? Can you hear me now? Oh, I turned up the... I see what it is. Let me turn this down, too. I'm not overdriven by the uh, just the regular sound effects. I said I don't know the, if the music, but the game music is uh, high. Yeah, I noticed that too. I, I I went ahead and turned that down. I turned. I was playing another music. It was uh, my audio was too high and my and the game music was too low, and I never changed it back. See if this actually will work. Thank you. And you. Is it enough to get in there? Well, it was, but it's not enough to do what I wanted it to do. Got him! Now it's not, now it's not falling there. Oh, no. Get up! Apparently Link wanted to be up underneath the water. I'm not entirely sure why. Dang it. Alright, well... Not quite sure what happened there, but uh, it still counted as my uh, my Korok seed. You still sound a little far than than other days. Interesting. Uh, give me a second here. Is this better? I went ahead and uh, stuck the uh, audio all the way up. If not, then it's the mic, and I, I gotta update it. Perfect. Alright, well, we need to get back up to the top, because uh, we got that one. That stamp now. Go ahead and mark this one. This one as complete. I've been keeping track of uh, on an internet or interactive map on what I've completed and what I haven't. That way I can go back, especially with these Korok seeds. It's if if you're not doing that, then you're you're spending a lot of time trying to figure out what is what. All right, we need to get back up here. That's, that's the Korok seeds we're looking for. And the only shrines in master mode I have done is the first four. So that's where we're at now. First four have run through. 
reminds me, where is it? We've run through one set of uh, amiibo cards the last time we played Breath of the Wild. But all in all, about where we stand. Have fire. Do I have flint? I don't. On all accounts. I don't even have wood. So there's no way I can get that one. I think the... Uh, oh, oh. I think the other Korok seed that I'm looking for is down here. up here. Question is where? Hmm. Find out. Aww. So close. I didn't lose all of my progress. I got that going for me. Oh, there it is. down here. Um. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where that went. Not without the, uh, proper airwear. Need my paraglider for that one. All right, and get rid of that stamp, get rid of that stamp. Yeah, that takes care of everything there. Didn't get everything. We're missing one little item. The last shrine. Thought I caught all the shrines. Apparently not. I did, or I wouldn't have gotten the paraglider. Place that I thought is a shrine. Okay. Okay. The other day, I see a flawless figure, and for some uh, moment, my credit card hurts, <laughs> but I don't buy. That's like 300. Holy, yeah, I've seen those. Uh, they've got a couple of those with uh, uh, Link as well, and they're, they're the newest ones that have come out, and they look amazing. Then I looked at the price, and, and even mine, I'm like, I wish I had it, I wish I had it. One of those, uh, those wish upon a star moments. I wish I may, I wish I might have this figure tonight. And then you open up your wallet and go, <laughs> wish denied. All right.
Alright, well, uh, there's all those treasures. As they finally pop in. Alright, where was I going? Oh, over here. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and mark the tin. Got those two. There is a mark here. Somewhere around here. I'll figure it out there. Something over here by Pride Rock, because honestly, that just looks like Pride Rock. Apparently there's one here, too. So, that's an easy fix. Let's just climb up top and go get it. And when we're done getting all these quarks, we're going to go get a few more shrines. We're also going to uh, attempt a... Uh, final? Which... Could be a hilarious in, it, in, in itself, just because... Uh, we're not fully equipped. <laughs> It doesn't mean I still don't want to go fight a Lionel. Yeah. I go fight a Lionel at this point in time, and they're going to completely wipe me across the floor, so we're going to have to, uh... We're going to have to get fancy with this. Maybe get a little cocky when it comes to uh, fighting that Lionel. There it is. Have a quartz leaf? I'm not gonna find it there. I do not. I don't even have uh, fire choo choos. All right, well, let's see if we can get a Korok leaf around here somewhere. I'm gonna need this. I think it's like... Total to do the, the house and, uh... The city, I think it's like a hundred and thirty. Pieces of wood down the road, but we're not going to get there anytime soon. Hey, Debbie, welcome in. Oh, I thought you were playing hide and go seek there for a second. How's your night going, Debbie? Give me a leaf. I don't want a stick. There you are. Pick it up. Why not? Alright. Fine. Get rid of you. I know where this goes. I just gotta get to it. Man, I gotta leave for nothing. I need fire. Wait, wait, wait. Do I do? Sweet. I'm gonna do it that way. Oops. All that to be able to get to a rock, because can't reach into the leaves. Game mechanics sometimes just confuse you. Alright. 
I finally got the uh, paraglider on my way to uh, seek out Impa. Nice! You're gonna have fun on that thing. I've been, uh... I, I just, last stream, I just got the paraglider. So I've been going through and uh, wiping out all the Koroks in the uh, uh, isolated plateau. Because I don't have very many Koroks left in this area. I might as well go ahead and knock it out so I don't have to come back. So he's up there. Breath of the Wild, the one game that is absolutely phenomenal, frustrating, and will make you not want to put it down all at the same time. Well, I'm not... The thing is, I'm trying to get all the Koroks so I can get my... upgrade my, uh... uh weapon stash as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Unlike last time, where I, I just I did it on a whim. Now I, I'm that's I'm kind of keeping the the Koroks right along the side of getting shrines because if I don't, it's going to cause me some issues down the road, especially in master mode when gathering as much strong weapons is is it's key as well as your uh, the ability to dodge your your enemies. Okay, so, we can go ahead and delete you, and you. The nice thing about the uh, the interactive maps, which reminds me, I gotta put a link over into, uh, I think I put a link over in Discord. The nice thing about it, the interactive maps is, especially with these Korok seeds, they are so, uh, there's so many of them. Trying to keep everyone straight on how many you, uh, on how many or which ones you've got and which ones you haven't, I, I would I would lose track in a heartbeat. And I I look at this as as no different than uh, than having basically my own little hand map. Oh crap. Dude bounced off my shield. It's amazing. Now, yeah, where is this? Oh, he's over here. I think I got all the Koroks in the forest. It's been a, a very long time finding a boar. Turns out, not a good hunter at all. <laughs> I'm not either. I just let the thing fly r or w run right by me. Wait a minute. I think he's over here. There it is. It's a flower. It's follow the uh, vanishing flower trick. There we go. I think I got one. I got four left. Got that one. That one. Apparently there is one here and one there. So I've got, in all total, four more to go. I think. No. One. I mean, that Korok is technically not... Yeah, I've got that one done. Now that I've got wood, I can go get this one, too. One, two, three, and... Four. There is one down here. But I'm not technically going to count that one as part of the isolated plateau, because you can get off the plateau to get that. So we're going to go get this one over here by Pride Rock. 
Only if I turn around and face the right way. Oh, it's way up there. Alright, well. I see shiny pieces. Like, uh, Hyrule Herb. I can make that useful. I'm about to come onto a camp. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what this is. I actually have a picture of this that I use as my background. And it's about... Actually, it's... That view, minus Link, and that rock. It's like this view right here. But, uh... Yeah, that's a talus right there. That mushroom, and those mushrooms over there... Those over there, they're the trap markers. Ah, oh, we get this. Trap activated. Get off his crutch. Oh, I need bombs. Oh man, seriously? Seriously, I don't realize I'm that close to it. How are you on marking a uh, Korok? Oh, Korok's on my on map? I am actually using what is called a uh, interactive map off of uh, zeldamaps.com. Let me pull it up here, I'll show you real quick. Uh, window capture. Yes, save that. There it is. But yeah, I've got an internet interactive map that I've got pretty much. I can go in and uh, I haven't gotten a lot of this stuff. I can go in and tell it to give me all the shrines as well as all the Koroks. And that is the, one of the few things I do. I don't care about the uh, the treasure boxes, if I find the treasure boxes, it's on me. But I like to at least have a, a round a direction so I can get to the uh, the shrines and uh, as well as the Koroks. I definitely will use it for the Koroks. Or I am using it for the Koroks and I'm only using it for the for the shrines just so I can keep track. The only problem with it, this interactive map is it doesn't uh, do the DLCs. No, it's not. It's actually a website. Uh, Zeldamaps.com has it in one of their uh, on their site. They don't update it very often, but you, you basically sign up into it so it it will run off your uh, off your own account so that way whatever markers you have will be saved to to that you or to that uh that username i've got two usernames that i use one for master quest and one for uh for normal mode that will i can ha select whatever i want and as i'm going along my progress will be saved on top of that as long as the uh the progress you can sit here and tell it to hide what you've done so the only thing that are left is what you haven't done and the other interactive map that I do go through is this one here from uh, Zelda Dungeon uh, dot net. It's a little bit more uh, proactive on their stuff. The only difference is 
Um, you can do the same thing. It's not shown here in the map because uh, this thing, the, the, let me see if I can get it knocked in place so you guys can see it. There we are. It shows over here. You got your, your stuff that you can select that you want. But when you select these as being done, they don't disappear like the other one does, but it does do the DLC. So these are the two websites that I, I typically run. And I try to keep them both updated. If you ever, if you ever see me look off to, the, off to this direction, it's that's what I'm doing. Is I'm looking at that uh, interactive map and uh, either updating it with the stuff that I've already gotten, or I'm, I'm looking what I'm going to get next. There we are. Now fall forward. Sweet. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I am nowhere. Oh, that's why. Um. Damn it. Nope. I am not. Nope, nope, nope. Talus, nope. Nope. Neat, nope. I thought I could handle that one. I'm gonna do that. Thanks for showing that. Yeah, no problem. I have no problem uh, helping out. What is that? I need a new app to open it. Oh. Okay, well, you gonna. Whatever. Apparently I got something going on that says, you need a new app for that. I'm like, no, no, I don't. I have no idea what it what it's pertaining to, nor does it tell me, uh, let me actually exit out of it. So I just push it to the background. All right. I think my first priority is probably working my way over to get the, uh, Start getting the barbarian armor because that kind of levels the playing field. Look, an unintended. An, where? Damn it! Give me your parts. I don't want your hand. Let's see if I can get up here without him noticing. What? I do have food. I'll just go ahead and eat. I saw a shooting star. I think I did. Okay, then I won't go up there. I did, I did! Man, that's gonna take me forever. And I just got up here too. Oh well. Let's go. Tell me you get sidetracked easily without telling me you get sidetracked easily. Shiny star. Side quest. You look, you sound tired, obviously. Sounds rough. If only I could eat some meals for energy, but the stable meals are ve vegetarian for the most part. 
gourmet raw meat. I don't think I... I don't think I have any. I do. Yes. Paid a hundred bucks for, for gourmet raw meat. Hell yeah. All right, old lady. Oh, sorry. You look like an old lady, but you're an old man. Raising on day, one of our customers says he saw a white horse on Stuff and Hill recently. Hell's a Safa real. Oh, that's 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 Princess Zelda's uh, horse. Royal White Stallion. One of three horses that doesn't allow you to uh, change out their uh, their gear. Eleven forty five PM. I'm almost there. Got a breather, now we get to run again. I uh, really What? He came in under the grass. Sneaky, sneaky Stalfos. Very sneaky. Total of 12 Piku or er, seeds. Okay. Go next. Kill. Alright. It's nighttime. They will, uh, so big hearty reddish. I'll remember that one. Oh. I'll come back to you. Getting shot at was my dream. I did. It worked. Now I'm being chased by Keese. Never ends well. Ah, oh, crap. That's what I wanted. I always wanted that rock. Well, that rock is still here. Sweet! Can I activate Twin Peaks Tower? I mean, you can activate any tower you want as long as you can get up there and uh, drop your Sheikah Slate on it. But a lot of them, it requires quite a bit of stamina. I mean, it's just going to fill in your map, and that's... If you really want to keep track of where you're going on the map wise, definitely uh definitely activate towers as you come to them. All right. There we are. Okay. Somebody's supposed going away. That one. Yeah, anytime you get to a tower, always activate it if you can get up there. And sometimes you have to rethink the way you do how you get up there, because sometimes th there is at least one shrine that is completely covered in blight, except for a certain amount. And then, uh, there's another one that's covered in, uh, that's surrounded by 
uh, thorns that you have to burn away. And they don't all get burned away at once. I don't remember which shrine that one is, to be honest with you. him from shooting at me. Malcolm in the water. Oh, I made it! I made it! I made it! That was a little... That, that was a little dicey at times. Sweet. Oh, wait. We're pretty close to a tower. I might as well go ahead and... So I'm this close to this tower. I might as well go ahead and see what what I need to get to this tower. Apparently I'm doing the three-heart challenge for now. Run, run, run some more. That's the thing about the master quest. It, it really is a... Uh, that moment of, holy crap, I can't believe I just did that. At, uh... Constantly. Okay, there's the enemies. I don't even know what's up there. Run, 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 run. And the music was blaring through my headphones. Or at least through my ears. The run. Want some apples? There it is. Hold. Oh, it actually helps if you are not standing in the dish when you put the apple down. There you go. Have an apple. To have an apple, take an apple. I have no idea where that's at at this moment, since the map is not filled in. I just know it's somewhere over there. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's this one. Dirty mud. That's what this one is. Ah, oh, not this one. Alright, who did I activate? You? Okay. I am nowhere near where I need to be. just might actually make this. Okay, maybe not. We're not running away. We're strategically relocating to a safer location.
Okay. Jump. Jump. Go. I always get nervous about this tower every, even when I'm fully equipped, ready to handle those, uh, the, uh, um, blast from those things. The only difference is, is I haven't had a chance to, uh, no! I haven't had a chance to acclimate myself to their timing because they they vary their timing before they blast. The sounds are the same. The cues are the same. But the time that they actually send out that blast is a fraction of a second off and it randomizes. So if you try to completely get the, uh, the timing down, the moment you think you got the timing down is the moment that they change it on you. I've gotten pretty close at getting it the last time I played Master Quest, but, uh... I would say probably about 75% of the time I still got pretty much pummeled by them. No, 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 no. Sorry, guys, but, uh, getting. Get in there, get in there. There you go. Whoa. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make it. We're almost there. We're, ha we're almost there. We're halfway up the tower. Holy moly, we're halfway up the tower. I cannot believe we made it this far so far. second tower in the game. We got a walker over there prowling, trying to find me. I guarantee it. You're going to see me go, ooh, bunch. He's going to be after me like a hungry cat. I mean, the last time I saw a hungry cat, it was somebody else's cat, and they were going nuts over with me. But, wholly different story. However, it was also funny as hell. So, but we made it to the top of the tower. One of those. Woo! Had no problems at all. Knew I could do it. As soon as everybody turns around. I can't believe I made that! All right. I was, like I said, I wasn't expecting to make this one as easy as I, I, I got up there. Fun part will be getting down. See, I want the, uh... I want my phone to be as waterproof as the Sheikah Slate. That thing is absolutely 100% waterproof. As often as he jumps into lakes, rivers, ice cold areas, that's like the best product line right there. Windproof, ice proof, waterproof, dust proof, even sand proof. It will even up protect it from even a bomb, she can bomb blast. Get your Sheikah's home protector now. Five EV payments of nineteen ninety-five a month. Oh, sweet! I got my. Well, that's neat. I, I wasn't expecting that. So I ran all the way over here for a. That's that's epic. I ran all the way over here just for my. Uh shooting star, and now I am essentially, uh, 
surrounded. But... If I'd already gotten here... I could try to get myself over here and get the first... Actually, it's not there. It is here to get my first memory. And then run like a little girl, because I don't have the actual uh, materials for anything else. I thought I got that one. I didn't. I was supposed to, but didn't. So, we're gonna go over here. Hey, Brandon, welcome in. Sorry, I if you're still here, I did not see your uh, your alert come through. So I do apologize. I don't know what it is about Facebook when they... The only time that it really notice... Um, the only time I get a notification is when they hit the like button. Like, dude, how about the other reactions? I'd like to know those, too. So, I do apologize for not seeing that. Okay. There you are. Go ahead and, uh... We do have wood. Yeah. We do have wood. Let's drop some wood down. I don't think it should uh, be an issue. You can't hold that here. Yes, I can. See? Perfect. We will, uh, drop more wood. Weapon? You know what? We're gonna burn a leaf. Burn a leaf. Burns it burns. That is the longest leaf I've ever seen burn. Get you out of the way. I did find you. We've gotten 15 so far. and get back up here, get to the top, get ourselves over to the other side of, and go, uh, get the two that are up top. We got, what, two, three? Yeah, we have a total of four Koroks left on the isolated plateau. It's actually fully completed out. I think it's actually pretty phenomenal. Okay. That's where I need to go. Over there. Don't touch the water. Water's cold. It will hurt. I don't want to touch that over there. That's a boss area. Not a boss, but a, an enemy section. Go this way. I'll never know I came in. It's like Mission Impossible come flying in from the sky. Alright. Oh, 
I came all the way up here for that one, and it's not even down here. It's over there. There it is. I see it from here. All right, who else is up here? Yeah, I can climb up there for that one. There we go. Nope, oh, that's not helpful. All right, get in there. There you go. I will say though that second site that I uh, I talked about also links each one if you're seriously having problems with either A tracking something down or having absolute no you have you spent a lot of time and you still can't get through a certain uh certain shrine it will link you to uh help sites that will allow you to go through and uh Pick up, or not pick up, but at least read through on how to get through a shrine. It won't give you like 100% step by steps, but it'll give you like, hey, you need to go do this and do that, and then, uh, but it's up to you to actually get it done. My first blood moon. Yeah, those are the, those are the ones that really freak you out. Every blood moon. After the first one, you're just like, oh, that's just another blood moon. I mean, that's pretty much what I thought the first time I went did a Blood Moon. The first one I did the Blood Moon, I was like, what the hell is this? And I, I watched the cinema. I'm like, that is, that's interesting. You mean tell me I got to fight them all over again? The worst ones are when you're in the middle of a battle and you get a Blood Moon. But you can skip it if I think it's you hit B and then you can hit the plus button and it'll skip the uh, the blood moon. Not it won't skip the blood moon, but it'll it'll skip that cutscene. So after a while, when you're you finally get tired of seeing the cuts cut screen every time it comes up, you can uh, skip it and move on. I think it's the first time you go through the cutscene it won't let you, but after that it will. But I've done it where I've been in the middle of a... I was in the middle of... No, I had just finished a battle. And, uh... Hit the Blood Moon. So the enemy itself spawned right exactly where I was at. Right next to me. I was like, ah! I guess we're going through this again! But that was also after... I had a... Oh, crap, it's not here. It's inside. Forgot. That little guy's sitting in your bed. Like, haha, you found me! I'm like, you've been there this whole time? That's kind of awkward. I remember getting this one over in normal mode. So we come back here. Wonder how long he's been in there with me. And I still haven't fought the, uh... I still haven't found, uh... Korak guy. I don't remember his name. Oh, I haven't even made it over to uh, the main village. Alright. I think I'm ready for this. Or at least for, uh... Save. Oh, 
Well, that's right. We gotta throw things in in the circle. What am I? Oh. Well, let's get a hold and drop that. Haven't already? Don't forget to like and share the stream. Helps me out. And it doesn't cost a dime. Hey, Stephanie. Welcome in. Thank you for the react. Have to be a rock, or can it be this? Oh, I'm guessing it's... Then it's gonna be this. But, uh... Turn around. Alright. I remember this one. How are you doing on this night? Fine night. Bethany? Oh, come on. Let me in there. What, what app am I having open that I have to, uh... What's that? I don't know what that is, nor do I care at this moment. I could have sworn I got you un uninstalled you. Apparently I, I got an app that's screaming I should probably uh use figure out what I want to use and I'm like, no. Go away. And it, it's not even popping up with, uh, in my application bars down below. Alright, we've got those, but we need a rock. Oh, rock, oh, rock. Where are thou? means does it have to be a rock? Hello rock. <laughs> Hello rock my good old friend. Ah, <laughs> oh, it wasn't enough. I was too close. Luckily we got two chances. Aw, oh, man, there was a lizard down there. Or am I supposed to jump down it? Alright, well, uh... When in doubt, throw yourself in. Wasn't what I was expecting, but hey, it is what it is. Doing well. How's the game going tonight? The game itself is going pretty well. I can't complain. I have a. Uh, I mean, I I would be li lying if I said I didn't have a Breath of the Wild addiction. Because there's not a single time that i not thinking of Breath of the Wild. Alright. 23. Oh crap. Come here. I don't want you... No, no, no! 
Hey Richie, welcome in. Woo, Nelly. 25 days of follow age. Appreciate that, Richie. Gonna have to get me some food. I'll do. Oh, it's pot. Hey, where am I? Oh, that's where I'm at. This is the spot where, uh... So I'm guessing this is the area that, I guess, you, uh... Sneak into? With the guards? Because, uh... This is the room that you... You meet Princess Zelda in Ocarina of Time. That's where you look through to see, uh, to the courtroom for, uh, the king. This is my last playthrough I ran across that. I was like, that is absolutely phenomenal. Alright, we're gonna get this last Korok, and this last Korok is in a weird place. Not a place that you'd ever expect it to be. Right, Debbie? I was, uh, I ran across it and I was like, this, this looks familiar. And then I, I sat there and stared at it for a bit. And it finally, it finally clicked that it's, it was the, uh, it's the location that Zelda stands that you find. No work today due to heavy rain and a warehouse flooded. Oh, damn. Flooded warehouses are never good. Give me the time for master. I filled up the map, or I filled in the map. Nice! We are going to... We want to do stamina. We're going to start doing... We're going to get another wheel of stamina. That's what we're going to work on first. And then we're going to work on ourselves so we can go get our, uh, our Master Sword. Just because. I think it's because, it, since it's Master Quest, I think it's time that we uh, change things up a little bit. Our tactics n normally in normal mode work, or in normal mode, but will not work in, for the most part, in Master Mode. Now that we've got that, just to get it out of the way, let's get ourselves to the top. Have I forgot to go in there? I, you don't have to. It just has that uh, that uh, fire angel just so you can drop off your uh, your shrine orbs that you've gotten so so far, or I guess spirit orbs. And any place that you go to will have have, or any town like the the next town you're heading towards will have one as well. So, this is where we get the paraglider. I'll drop it off in a treasure chest. However, if you climb up here... I believe it's this side. Climb up. And not try to climb inverted like that. Because, uh... Yeah. I think it's this side. I do believe it is. Climb all the way up to the top. There's this Korok seed. What's funny is I had no idea it was up here. I had, uh... The one person that I never expected to tell me where it was at, tell me, and that was Raiden. So they're playing, he goes, Yeah, yeah, if you, if you climb the top of this, there's a Korok up there. I'm like, no, there's not. He goes, yeah, yeah, there is, I got it already. I'm like, no way. 
So I climbed up there, and sure enough, there it was. I find it helps to raid the castle. Not drinking a, uh, or not drinking and dying a lot in Zelda, right? This is true. This this game will test your patience. Master mode is definitely a patient tester. Let's see if I can. I won't. There. There's my pole dance. That's all. That's all I got for for Link on pole dance. There we go. And with that, we've uh, gotten all the Koroks up here. That was inside, sitting in your uh, Juvenation Center. That one was just one of those one things. I don't consider this as part of the isolation, or the... Well, they, they call it the Isolated Plateau, but technically the main name is the Great Plateau. Um, I don't consider this part of the Great Plateau, Plo, ah, Great Plateau, because I don't know why I don't. I just don't, because it's off the plateau technically. So I've gotten all the Korok seeds over here. First time I've ever completed every one of those Korok seeds. A delete pen. However, once I defeat all, um, Divine Beasts, I'll end up coming back here again and fighting a section here so I can get my motorcycle eventually. It's like kind of like a trading sequence. With that being said, let's get our butts over here. save some time. But yeah, the uh, little shrine statues, they're all over the place, Debbie. You'll be alright. Knew there was... Never knew that there was one there. Exactly like the one at the top of uh, Ganon's castle. I didn't know the one there about the one up there either. Dang. I gotta remember that one. Well, that's not Ganon's castle. Yeah, I've never actually climbed clear to the top of that. I'm going to this time around. Alright. So... That's my next tr That's my next destination. And once I get there, I'm going to take a line straight up here. I mean, their first preview was something along the lines of this this land here. There was like a cottage around here somewhere they showed and it was a bunch or just out of the blue just a walker come flying out of nowhere blowing things up chases you down with your, on your horse. Hello, Asia. There we go. We're both learning something new today. This is true. <laughs> uh, shrine over here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Nope, nope. All right. That, that's a big old note. Big old rock note. Nope, 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 nope. Seriously? Give me this. Take that. Give me this. Give me your arm. 
Oh, you're all gone? Really? I was hoping to beat you with your own arm. That's disappointing. Oh, there you are. I'll beat your friends with your own arm. That's what I'll do. Yep. Yeah, I got your I got your head now what? Oh that's what? Oh, I did pick the, another arm up. Sweet. I didn't think I did. No, your parts and pieces. Please pick a location, stop bumping on the table. Alright. Nope. Do that back. Oh, I already activated it. I did, that's as soon as I got down. I was like, why isn't that activated? First normal, normal uh, shrine after the introductory shrines. That's what this is. And then all the uh, the red lionels that were red, they're now they're now they're white lionels. Where is this shrine? Absolutely, it is right there. Pretty much you, uh, or is it, uh, yeah, where'd it go? There it is. You got Temple of Time from the Great Plateau Tower. It is due east. You'll run right into it. Pretty much in the same line as going straight east to the tower. You'll run right by it. That way, that way, and that way. Got it. Alright. Oh, I made it! Don't you jump off that. I'm up north. Yeah, the... If you hadn't got any shrines around that area... Yeah, there's no shrines around that area. It's the first one you get before hitting Twin Peaks. And it's right next to that bridge. So if you activated anything over, like, the Twin Peaks Shrines, because there's three of them over there on, on the Twin Peaks. Um, they would be the closest. There's a shrine that I passed that I, I can't get up to. That's probably one of the ones on sh uh, Twin Peaks. But then again, you said you're up north. So... I'm not entirely sure. Right now, I'm heading east. On your way to Kakariko. Well, I'll be heading that way. I'm just kind of following the... their intended path. For now. Because I'll, I'll go right through Twin Peaks, and then I'll head north into uh, Kakariko Village. Which, 
surprisingly enough, will not net me the uh, um, Lionel that I'm looking for, but I know where it's at. The one Lionel that I always miss. All right, that's where I'm going. Twin Peaks. I just left the horse stables by the shrine thorns. Okay. I know about where that's at. Give or take. Horse shrine. That's oh the, okay. That's the uh, the shrine that's sitting on that little small little island with thorns. If that's the one I'm thinking of, then I know where you're at. Yeah, you're not that far. If if that's the case, you're not that far north. You're at what Riverside Stable? Is here. Oh. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omen, I know. But that well just that that says better than worse. Oh. We're doomed, I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? That Well it doesn't matter who you are, really. I'm just getting tired of talking to myself. We come here f at a good time. By the way. Or by the by. Those strange things that popping out of the ground, did you see them? I was the one that put him up. Uh. Okay. Let's see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Okay, Aww. he's talking about the, uh, the walkers. I may have taken the long way around. I mean, there's two ways of getting to, uh, to Kakariko Village from from the beginning, so it's it's that is a fully open world, so you don't actually have to take the same route that everyone else does. So I wouldn't say the long way; you've taken your way. And they're having a blast over there. Not ready to fight them though. I don't, I don't think I've ever, uh, is that the bird? The one with the, uh, the pirate's accordion, whatever it's called. I don't think I've ever noticed his name. I just always called it the musical bird. Oh, the big Korok, okay. Oh, you're pretty much r right on right on the same path of where you need to be anyways. It's just just a little further up the uh the beaten path. You have to fight a a few core or a few uh um macoblins. To get her her maracas back, but yeah, it's it's just right there. I just tried trying to get them. <laughs> like, oh, I can get those. Nope, I was wrong. Was that a uh, blinking from? Oh, there's a rock. There it is. Was that blinking from, uh, Ben and Tights? He falls off the, uh, the watchtower. He's like, I can see! Nope. I was wrong. 
That's so wrong. <laughs> I'm a hunter now. Okay, so we're heading the right direction. Show up. <laughs> Sorry, Debbie. I, I I wasn't thinking. It was just I I remembered you saying something about a hunter. I I forgot it was the uh, the boar that you couldn't get up, you couldn't shoot. I I wasn't trying to show off. Maybe a little. <laughs> Is this? Come here, goat. You're gonna be my dinner for another day. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Never run, never run. You missed me. out of my way when in doubt work on headshots yeah that's Twin Peaks there's a uh, there's a shrine up there there's a shrine over there and I believe there's a shrine right there but yeah the the shrine up here and down here are interconnected so whatever's in this shrine on how the balls look, make a copy of that before changing it. And then you go up to the shrine that's up, sorry, the shrine that's here. You use the ball placement out of this shrine to do the shrine up here and use the ball placement out of this shrine to do the shrine down here. You basically flip the balls around. Yeah, you gotta have, uh, a little bit of stamina to get up there, or do the uh, the whistle running trick. Sneaky snail. You ever wondering how to fish well? Just fish. Call it the hillbilly fishing. It works really well. What's funny is you can actually send these things, these fish, uh, running up onto the shore if you hit them just right. The location. Yeah, I'm not running for that. I went over here. But if you're you're noisy enough and you make enough and basically make a boom next to them that doesn't catch them, they'll take off in the same in the opposite direction from you. But at the same time, it will uh, they'll inadvertently run on shore and they won't come back off and get back in the water. So you just walk up and pick them up. They're sitting there just flopping around. You chase the flower, you get a seed. You chase the flowers for poop, right? Did I miss a flower? But, I 
have, but I, I don't know. I, I turned off my Korok seed finder, so. Well, then I'll have to go back. Let's go ahead and activate this tower first. Ice blocks, lift fish up, bombs can kill groups. Shock arrows might work. Shock arrows do work. It They work just about as well as the, uh, uh bombs do. But at least bombs, you never run out of those. I knew what you meant. I, I read it as can, because uh, I've done it. Okay, we can't keep... I don't have this... What in the world? Or... Okay, okay, well... Well, that's bugging the hell out of me. Give me a second here. Windows updated and gave me this weird feature called Toby Eye thing, where it, I guess it, it follows your eye movements. Haven't set it up. Didn't want it, and now it's been screaming at me, going, "Hey, which application would you like to do?" Like, none. You weren't supposed to start up, and I do believe I this I uninstalled you yesterday. I could finish some more shrines, but the damn Korok seeds. That, that's generally how it works out. Korok seeds tend to uh, take up quite a bit of your time. I mean, don't get me wrong; some of those. Is I'm surprised that they were able to go and put a cork seed right there. Seriously, 900. I mean, the, on top of that, you don't even, you needed half of the Koroks to even max out your, uh, your inventory slots. If they're gonna give you that many Korok seeds, they might as well at least make it where you have to get all Korok seeds to mac out your, uh, your slots. Just turn off when I, I think about it, playing the game. Oh, the Koroks? Right? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a turn off, because... I mean, technically, the most... Most of... Oh, what was the last game I played and finished it? I got... 80 Korok seeds throughout the entire game. Which was enough for me to get where I needed to go. Alright. Now we're going to have to go back to the location. Apparently there's a flower back here I missed. Alright, uh... So there was, I missed it right here. No. Pretty much the same way I'm looking. I don't even think I was going to... That wasn't going to last if I did that. Last 25 weapon takes 55 seeds. Last bow takes 25. Yeah, see, that's the thing is they should have... There's the uh, pinwheel. Hello, slime. I honestly think they should have at least, you know, 
If they're gonna do 900 Koroks to get... You might as well make it to a point where the end result is, is max... Max out your weapons. Not half of the Koroks are used to max out your weapons, and the other half are just... Just for fixing grins. Behind me. Are you talking about the pinwheel that's up there on the on the cliff? Because the one I was going for is the one that sits here. There's a pinwheel that's up here. Come on, run. grab this real quick. Hey, you were supposed to keep going. Okay. Up. Over. Now down. Damn it, I can't freeze it. One, got two, and he moved. I know it's in a pattern, but I wasn't seeing it until the very end. Yeah. 100 sing for indestructible Korok gear would be nice. Or 600. Not the best weapons in the game. Right? I'd go with that. Oh, and there's... Yeah, there's the, uh, that was the pinwheel, but then there's this one that I believe is the chasing of the one over here. Let me go ahead and mark that down. One up here on this edge. I have to remember that spot. It's not fun when there we go, when you're trying to play and your your thumb cries out and cracks earlier in the day and it's right where you use the uh push most of the uh the pressure on your on your hand. Dude, stop. Yeah, it's it's not fun. A whole hand does it on both hands. I mean, I get them on the, right in the cre crevices, ankle, or heels and fingers to all do it. That is a shrine. Very such. Try? Absolutely.
Okay. So I'm climbing there. I was on that level. And I'm going to this level. Okay. He is on this ledge. And seriously? Don't start with me. I'm almost there. Crap. I wouldn't have made it anyways. I, I can't... Run, run. There you go. Get up there. Oh, that's the running trick. Which is surprisingly enough, you allows you to climb the tallest mountain in the game without ever actually climbing it. So, why am I still trying to climb it? I see, you come in here, and you wish for rain, and, and I get rain, and then you just run off like that. I see how it is. I'm blaming the rain on you, Chris. But you have yourself a wonderful night. <laughs> you cursed me with rain. Almost up there. I will say that the whistle trick does come in come in handy quite a bit. And uh how I end up doing it is oh where is that? Is you hold down to whistle, and then you tap the B button, which is your run button. But I have to pretty much, you gotta also direct it. And you will never use a single bit of stamina in the process. Every once in a while, I'll use the other joystick to rotate my camera around. But for the most part... You see me running and, uh, and then just randomly whistle. That's that's what I'm doing. I did find you. Apparently you've got two Koroks, one on each peak. Alright, we've got that taken care of. There's a shrine over there. That one's over there next to... Okay, those are over by the... Uh, by the castle. Not where I. W oh, excuse me. Not where I want to go yet. There is one down here as well. Did get that one already. What this one over here? Silent Mushroom. What's funny is it tells me the location, but it doesn't tell me what I've got. It doesn't tell me exactly, which I'm okay with. I like looking and tracking these things down. But I also like having a place of, uh... Is this it? It is! 
But I also like a, at least a, a starter point. 22. Man, we are, we are moving along. Okay, so let's go ahead and knock these um, these markers out. I will say though, Debbie, once you get up that that uh, internet active map, you'll find yourself essentially marking out stuff like uh, you know how ADD and I did like I did with the uh, desert area on normal mode. And now ADD does now, where he'll mark out a bunch of them. He uses the interactive map to at least get the roundabout location for it. And then he will, uh, and I will just sit there and search for it. Now, I will give probably about five to ten minutes search, and if I still can't figure it out, then I will go to my other map that tells me the location, but will also give me a, basically a hint guide on where it's at. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. It is... It, it's a lifesaver. It's like these trees up here. Most times you see trees in, in triplets like that, it's... You gotta make the trees exactly the same. So these are apples. Just like here, hit me. You can hit me? Alright, you too? These guys are glutton for punishment. They just come up and like, here, do it. Like, stuff like this. This is a Korok seed location. Now, I can go and look that up and figure out how to do it. But I've done a few of these before, and it's... You basically make every tree identical with the same amount of apples in the same location. So... One, two... Okay. This has... No other apple except the one in front. I think the last time I tried this one here, on the normal mode, I picked out the wrong apple. On the wrong branch. It's the lower branch, not the upper. Can't see up there. There we go. Here, apples. Acorn? Corn? There's that apple. Near apple. Perfect. got a cat over here trying to give me a cat tattoo with her nails. I s oh no, there's... That just looks like a Korok. It's something. It was either a treasure chest, but it doesn't say it's a Korok on the map, so I don't think it's a Korok. I'm, I'm guessing it's a treasure chest. Let's find out. Is it arrows? Please be arrows. I can always use more arrows. Alright. It is a treasure chest. I can I will never say no to rubies. Alright, let's save ourselves some time and freak out. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, 
load faster. All right. That being said, we are going. Over here. And then we're gonna get that shrine. This the chase a feather? Or chase a flower? I do not know. Oh there we are. Too high. Now, come on. Thank you. Shield, 29 plus 13. Damn. I know who I'm getting rid of. You. Nope. I am getting rid of you. Oh, okay, cool. I said that there's a Korok here, but it, it's not really telling me much of anything. It's got to be somewhere that that's... I don't know. We're going to mark it on the map. We'll come back to it, because... Uh, that one's a little odd. I wonder if it starts over here. I wonder if, if that is that flower that you were talking about earlier, Debbie. Where you're bouncing across the uh, the waterway. Let's find out. Back by the tower on the shore. Interesting. Let's get ourselves back over across the t over to the tower. But I have a feeling that Korok that I was uh, I'm, I'm trying to track down starts there. Took one, gave me one. I just want to see if I can see it from here. There it is, right there. Get over there. Hello, flower. Crap, where'd you go? That way?
I'm gonna guess you went over there. That's what I, I, I figured it was one of those kind of chase the. F it had to be, especially since you made the comment that I, I missed the flower and didn't notice. And then I tracked down back, went backwards, and still couldn't find it. We found it in the end, though. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, I probably wouldn't have uh, gave that too much of a thought process if it wasn't uh, you bringing it to my light. I wouldn't even know. I just saw that and be like, I can't find it. I don't go. I don't know where that that cork is. We're just gonna move on. All right, let's go get this, this shrine now. We're halfway there. I'm not halfway there to the shrine that we're currently look, going for, but we're halfway there to the... Uh, Okay, Kakariko Village. I'm not even going to attempt the other ones. Or the other two shrines that are here. Not yet, anyways. I'll go get those after I get Rivali's Gale. Timing is critical. too excited to, I jumped off that <sighs> all right Why did I come up here? Okay, I am going to need here, though. Alright, come on, let's go. That was wrong. This is the next one. I'm always trying to get too far ahead. Down, down, down. Bing. And there we are. Timing is key. Because that would have dumped and hit the side of the uh, platform and dropped right into the, the ravine. Climber's bandana, which will help with speeding up your climbing. Here we 
go. We're halfway there for another stamina bar. Or hurt, I don't know which. And once I track down the uh the demon statue I could flip flop stamina bar for hearts and back and forth again. get one more shrine before uh, calling it a night, and that's that one right here. Should probably mark that shrine down. I think it was that one. I mean, it... I didn't look at the name of it, but it really doesn't from my perspective on marking it down on my interactive map, it doesn't really matter which one I grab. Especially if I'm with Deeks, because, uh... They're all right next to each other. Sphere? Bye, guys! Oh, run! Run, 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 run. Eventually, they'll stop chasing you. So this must be the shrine you're talking about that's covered in, in spikes. Back up. Okay. This one here is a little tricky. Let's go ahead and fill up our uh, health bar just because I'm not. This is one of those ones you, you come in from the, the top and float down. The spikes disappear after you activate the shrine. That is if you can climb the mountain properly. Apparently I could not. There's my ledge. You get a decent sized ledge like this. This is the uh, the advantage of that whistle, is you can recharge your your stamina as long as you can find one of those ledges. If you hit it just right, you can keep running. Kind of follow the cracks up. And all this was actually meant to be climbed. There's some flint that would have been nice. Some salt. Oh, I lost the flint. Alright. Go ahead and get that. They're all confused. They're like, Really? You came all the way up here? Like, yes, yes, I did. Um, get 
rid of that. I only need the one. Now this won't be here. These are only here on master, on the master mode. So this would be empty. There'd be nothing here, and it would just be you coming in from the from the top for the shrine. And with that, it's activated. Go down, we beat it, we come back up, the spikes won't be there, because right now, there's, it's virtually impossible for me to leave. I have to go through the, uh, through the shrine. I can't jump and up and over the, uh, over it. Now, since it's water, you can use your, uh, you don't have to climb all the way up top, but you can use your, uh, all I can think is chrysalis, and that's not right. Uh, cry Give me a second here. Your cryonis. Make a, a ice block right next to it. Climb the ice block and jump in. That's it sitting in water. You, I, it, it just dawned on me that that's would be the best way to doing it. But you end up using the, the t living daylights out of uh, the cryonis piece quite often. I need you to bounce the other way. Okay. Keep you there. Crap. Thank you. Ah, oh, so close. And there it is. Now, when you finally get this shrine and leave, all the spikes that are around it will be gone. That way, you won't sit there and wonder, well, how am I going to get past this? I forgot that that ha actually had spikes around it. That's been forever since I got that shrine last It's like it's all brand new to me. Well, not brand new, but it's it's all like a, a new find, essentially. It's like, oh, I, I I get how I'm supposed to do this. I just, wow, it's been a while. Now it's completely clear of spikes and ready for you just to walk by. But since it's sitting in water, the easiest route would basically make Cryonis block, jump on top of it, and uh, paraglide on over. The apples run out. The children will go pick mo some more. They told me to take as many as I want. Well, in that case, I'm taking your apples. It's, it's funny. You're sitting here just starting fresh and, uh, and I'm essentially starting fresh, but just on a harder difficulty. And it's it's nice to be able to see, you're like, yeah, I'm trying to get to this one. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm there now. <laughs> so on this, this section, or this version, I'm not too far behind you, Debbie. <laughs> Ooh, 
All right, we're going to make it over to the... Uh, yeah, we're, we're not that far from it. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab that. There's a... Is it up top? It is. I'll come back to that. There's a Korok seed on the nose of the horse. I forgot how buck tooth horse teeth are. Jeez. Not your fault. I just talked to Impa. Man, I am not that far behind. It's okay, though. I'm not worried about it. I'm more worried about, uh... Hitting that first Lionel. I mean, technically, if I really want to go the first Lionel, it is... My first Lionel would be right about here. I believe. Back up here and take a look. No. It would be over here. Now, if I didn't pursue this location, because there's a, a memory over here just before you get to that Lionel, my first Lionel that I'll ever uh, interact with, if I follow just the main storyline, will be the one for uh, Zoro's Domain. But since this is Master Quest, the first one that I ever messed with is actually up on the Great Plateau. And I had absolutely no weapons. I was like... No, I'm not chasing that one. That one's enough for my, uh... Come here. Gotcha. Alright. Get on the path. There we go. Oh, oh, jeez. Run! Or oh, we're gonna have some serious issue. gave me some serious issue. A horse just says, screw you. I'm going home. Let's go. See That's sad. That, that's what we call Holy crap, I can't believe I just died that fast. Let's try that again. This time, let's go. Let's go. All right. Now I don't have to control the horse. That's the nice thing about horses, is they at least follow the path. As long as you're uh, on a path, and your horse likes you and doesn't try to buck you off, back to you. Dude, your eyebrows are just ridiculous. How do you see? He's like a small child that goes, how do you see me? Alright. We got you. 
Priceless maracas. Those things must stink. Because he puts the Korok seeds in them and shakes them. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We should probably save. Now, with that being said... Um... Better shield. I'm okay with that. Anyone else want to test their luck? Oh, you? Okay. It's not raining. I need weapons. Um, that's a good... I would love to point you in the right direction on weapons. I just... They're all over the place. And a lot of the times you can pick... You, you steal most of your weapons from the enemies that you fight. So the stronger the weapon... Or the stronger the enemies... You, uh, it ends up dropping pretty good weapons. Now, eventually you'll get to a point where you can take on Lynels. And they, they give you the best uh, the best weapons but all your weapons are either from a treasure chest or a uh, from an enemy however if you can get your hands on the the amiibo cards they're just basically somebody has gone through and and copied off all the the coat that's coat off the chip of the amiibo. Run through those, and they they'll give you decent weapons right off the get go. I think I'm missing chests. That is a possibility. But just starting out uh, with what you got, start fighting more uh, uh, Bacoblins, and you'll end up get racking up pretty good decent weapons after that. And you just hitting uh, Kakariko Village, or just talking to the lady at early Impa at Kakariko Village. The enemies around there will start dropping pretty decent weapons, and the more you, f the more enemies you defeat, the stronger the weapons the enemies have. So that way, when you finally defeat them, you'll get, hey, where am I going? Alright. No, you don't. Because I remember hitting the, uh... First Macoblins, the red ones that are right next to the old man at the fire pit. Um... I remember the first time I ever had to defeat those, and I was just... All I had was a stick. However, if you sneak up on them... They will, uh... What's that? Oh, it leaves. If you sneak up on them, you can steal their weapons, because they have them sitting up against the log. A lot of the enemies at night, if, you, if they're asleep, you can steal their weapons without them waking up if you're quiet enough. Or you can do what is called a stealth attack, and basically get a really, really strong critical hit on them. And if your weapon's strong enough, it'll kill him with one hit. I've got 25. Let's see if he'll... Uh, definitely weapons. 
do 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 do. I don't care for him in uh, uh, Hyrule Warriors. The, the Calamity Ganon one. His uh, his attacks are pretty uh, they're pretty out there. What is your most dangerous weapon at the moment? At the moment is a sword, single-handed sword. Give me a second, I'll show you. Actually, it's the sword that I got currently attached minus plus that other one, but that has no bonuses. Sweet. I. Oh, I. Okay, so we got to go there first. But that would be my soldier's broadsword. My do most dangerous. But then again, where is it? A bomb arrows do pretty, pretty decent damage as well. I think it took maybe five, uh, six or seven bomb arrows, and those bokoblins were uh, pretty well taken care of. Call this horse diaper butt. But I'm not quite sure what was going on there, but uh Seriously? It's just like screw this sword. I'm throwing it. On the path. Most useful is my sledgehammer. Wait, there's a shrine over here? Oh, that's right, there's a shrine in town. Yeah, just shake that one off. You'll be all right. He's like, you ran me into a wall. I don't like you, right? Hey, you're on a path. Dude. Get in there. this way. Let me get this shrine, then we're going to call it a night, because uh, I'm actually getting tired. That's right, there is a... Uh, this is a good thing to know. Use your uh, magnesis on this waterfall. There's a... Did my horse just say I'm done? I can't get that horse now. Traveling sword. Not very strong, but it is a. S um, sorry, horse, but uh, you're on your own. I'm stuck, so I, I'm going to turn the uh, game off till tomorrow. You know I can't. But I was going to try tonight, but we uh. I kind of ran a little late on getting everything else. So I think what we're going to try is going to go ahead and fight one of the Lionels first thing tomorrow. With what we have, as I guarantee it, it's going to uh, be a massacre of Link. It won't end well, let's just put it that way.
Because I, I, I might be able to. But I'm, uh, I'm kind of curious on whether I can. Okay, this is the uh, introductory to, uh, to the Test of Strengths challenges. You missed that shrine? Yeah, it's the uh, one shrine that gives you the ability to warp back to Kakariko Village at any given time. What we got going on here? Patrol Triblade. Okay. And this one? Mind's Eye. Let's go ahead and drop something. Drop you, and I'll pick you up. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> You're welcome, Debbie. If I could, uh... Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm working on it. Perfect dodge. Fury Rush. Your sword's broken. I. It's basically trying to teach you. I'm not quite sure why I didn't start to attack, but right now it is. Uh, it's, it's teaching you how to, oh, it's teaching you how to, uh, dodge all these. And how to get those fury rushes in. Because as soon as it goes through its editorial, the thing will be defeated. Repel tax if you parry. Come on. There it is. Build up your charge and then release attack. Got it. This is that one shrine that pretty much gets you started up. Gives you your first guardian sword, which will help down the road with another guardian shrine. Or if you run yourself into a... Uh, Guardian Walker. It slices right through their legs quite easily. You've done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. Wait, did I get it? It did let me have it. Sweet. That monster, or the monster, that monsters are as dangerous if you are. Yeah, they're not that dangerous if I'm stronger. No, the, the stronger you are, the stronger. Depending on, actually, hold on a second here. Let me take a deep breath and uh, collect my thoughts. Depending on whether it is a minor, um, moderate, or strong strength test is depending on whether they are are weak partially or just kind of moderate or super strong now since this is uh, master quest everything is pretty much put on crack so these guys originally will be uh, the weakest one will be basically like a moderate the moderate will be like a strong strength test and the strong strength test will be like, holy crap, I can't believe it's not butter. They will uh, pretty much wipe you out if you're not careful. Just like all the 
the silver linerals that used to be silver in uh, in the normal mode are now gold. And they're just they're on crack, let's just put it that way. Strength wise, they're they're through the roof. So if you're not ready to fight a Lionel, expect you to be mopped across the floor. Which that's kind of what I expect the first Lionel that we inter inter encounter with is to be pretty much thrown across the floor. All right. With that being said, we've the next thing we'll do is we'll go talk to the old lady, get the all those things taken care of. Let's go ahead and save that one more time. And then we're going to go ahead and raid out cuz uh it's late and I need sleep. see who's on. Normally I would raid old guy ADD, but I've, I've been raiding him almost every every time I'm on. Now let's go raid somebody new. Thank you, Gustavo, with the GG. You know what, let's go... Uh, I don't think I've uh, raided Eric Bus Busby in a while. Looks like he's playing... I'm not entirely sure what he's playing be honest with you. Take a look. Uh, it looks like he's playing a, a Mega Man X game of some sort. So let's go on, go over there and give uh, him a uh, Dragon Rage 81 uh, rate, or yeah. Let me get that started there. So we had 100 comments tonight. Not bad, not bad. We had 5 reactions, 9 shares in total. All in all, it was pretty, well, a, a slow night. Not a big deal. I mean, it is Breath of the Wild, and it is pretty chill. So, with that being said, I thank you all for coming out here. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow at 9.30. And we'll be right, I'll meet you over there at uh, Eric Busby.